Hey guys, my name is Amir and welcome back to Amazing Amir. Hey guys, uh, today I will be showing you how to create a custom desktop wallpaper. So enjoy the video. So to create a custom desktop wallpaper, you will need three things. So the first thing is uh, the profile pic with uh, primary and secondary colors. So the second thing is uh, Adobe Photoshop. And the last thing is pickmonkey.com. So guys, uh, welcome back and today we are going to create this uh, desktop wallpaper and uh, yeah, let's get started. So guys, uh, you will be thinking that why I told to use a profile picture with primary and secondary uh, color. So I will uh, show you. Okay, so for example, take my logo and here you can see I have used only two colors uh, on my logo. So the first, the primary color is uh, white and the secondary color is purple. So our main task is to remove the purple background color and keep that purple background color on the edges. So if you did not get it, I will uh, show you by a uh, pick. Okay, so here is what I wanted to say. So what we will do is remove the uh, purple uh, background not completely but keeping some color on the edges. So when we keep, uh, keep some color on the edges it will look like this. Okay so to make like this uh, we need photoshop. So let's open photoshop and let's start our project. So guys as you can see I have opened photoshop and let's start. So first of all select file uh, then new then you will get this pop up then what we have to do is copy this width as 1000 and height as 1000 and keep background contents as uh, transparent and uh, copy all this and now select ok and you can name it uh, whatever you want but I am keeping it like this and selecting ok so now we will get a square so what we have to do is place our logo uh, which is uh, this one uh, over here so to do this what you have to do is select file then uh, select place and then select the logo that we want to edit then hold shift and then drag this till it's uh, fit properly and when it's uh, okay means like uh, it's fitted properly then select this stick icon and yeah so now to make this uh, this sorry this uh, what we have to do is select this eraser here and select the background eraser tool and now when you click it the first time you will get a notification like uh, this for example so now I am clicking it so now you will get this so what we have to do is select ok and then this tool will be enabled so now to use this tool uh, what we have to do is now just click on the sites and uh, we can erase those uh, purple color so now to erase this eraser size what we have to do is uh, left click sorry right click uh, and then uh, sorry uh, right click and then increase the size and uh, that's it and it will be really helpful and uh, just keep on doing this uh, and remember that we want this kind of look so don't erase all the purple color keep uh, keep it uh, some on the edges so i will meet you when uh, this uh, editing is completed so guys as you can see here that uh, my editing is completed and this uh, logo looks same as this uh, and now what we will do is select file uh, and save as and we will save this file as a png uh, and uh, yeah and uh, I will name it uh, uh, trial sorry trial 2 ok so now select save and you will get a pop up like png options what we have to do is select ok so now we will go to uh, pickmonkey and start our editing there so guys here we are at pickmonkey.com and uh, just follow my steps uh, so now scroll your mouse over design and then select custom 
so when we select custom uh, what you have to do is type your screen resolution uh, over here I had already typed it and then select make it and when we select make it you will get this uh, paper means uh, square uh, rectangle so what you have to do is uh, just darken this uh, color background color till this and select apply then uh, what we will do is select this uh, butterfly icon and then select your own and now we will uh, select our uh, profile pic that we just made on photoshop so just select it uh, yes trial to here it is and now what we have to do here is to just keep that small the logo should be very small means so you should drag the logo and make it small like this because if you make it bigger means like this much bigger it will not not look as uh, my looks okay so yeah keep it like this keep it like this okay that's okay and yeah so then uh, just can cancel it and uh, it should look now like this so what we have to do here uh, is to select this magic stick icon and uh, then scroll down and select dark edges and when we select dark edges now select the black color over here so you will get an eyedropper so it will uh, means where, wherever you point it uh, it will scan the color and add the uh, dark edges color on it so now what we will do is we will uh, point this eyedropper on the uh, purple edges that means what we will do here is uh, we will uh, drop the eyedropper over here so what it will do is it will add this purple color over here so i hope you understand it so now just drop the eye color eye dropper over here and here you can see same as my desktop wallpaper it looks same to same so now now what we will do is select apply and that's it our desktop wall uh, custom desktop wallpaper has been made so uh, to save it what we have to do is select your save and then uh, it will load and it may take time depending upon your internet speed and you know how how's mine so guys now we can name this file whatever we want so i will uh, type here amazing uh amea uh cover okay so what we have to do here is just save this as jpeg and uh, for the best quality select the, this scene and then uh, select save to my computer so it will be automatically saved to your uh, computer yeah so yeah so yeah guys uh, let's uh, see that uh, cover photo and uh, yeah uh, here it is okay see this it really looks awesome right it looks same as this and i hope uh, this uh, really helps and uh, please leave a like i love to do such videos for you guys and also request some videos in the description so i can do that for you and uh, yeah guys uh, i will see you later Cut.